morning students today we will study class 9 chapter number 12 that is sound as in previous lecture we had studied about what are the means against the production of sound and how sound propagates so in today's lecture we will discuss about the waves which are associated with the sound as longitudinal wave and transverse wave so as in previous lecture we had studied the propagation of waves how sound propagates uh, in the form of compression and rear fracture in today's lecture i will give you the experiment regarding the uh, how the sound need a medium to travel so firstly the sound needs a medium to travel so that's why sound is called mechanical wave so why sound is called mechanical wave because it needs a medium to travel next uh, what type of mediums are there it may be in three states of matter like solid liquid gas like air water steam as in steel the propagation of sound is more in water the propagation of sound is less than steel in air the propagation of sound is least so as we can say that the as the uh, interaction between the particles is decreases the propagation also decreases so one thing more the sound cannot travel through vacuum vacuum means there is no air in the space if the object or the particle in which the sound is moving has no air that is called vacuum so here that is called uh, that, that is called vacuum so we can say that sound cannot travel no air no propagation of sound takes place so here is the experiment uh, which is showing the sound need a medium to travel take a electronic bell and suspend it in the bell jar the bell jar has a, it is a air tight container which is tightened with the help of cork through this there are the uh, switch and the electronic connections are there which are connected to the electric bell so just suspend it the electric bell in the electric bell jar and this bell jar is connected to the vacuum pump as the switch is on the bell electronic bell produces a sound which is very loud as we start the vacuum pump the vacuum pump extract the air from the bell jar and as soon as the uh, air is coming out from the bell jar the sound of the electronic bell become lower lower and lower so as the vacuum pump extract all the air particles from the bell jar the sound of the bell electronic bell become feeble or it become very slow or after a few interval of time the uh, the, uh, the after few interval of time the sound of the electronic bell goes on decreasing or after some time it stops so from this experiment we can say that a uh, sound always need a medium to propagate as to uh, as due to the vacuum pump all the air is coming out so that's why it is not easy to hear the sound of the electronic bell so next is sound waves are longitudinal waves so firstly there are two types of waves one is longitudinal wave and other is transverse wave so the longitudinal waves are those waves in which the particle of the air or the particle of the sound moves along the direction of propagation which means as the light moves the particles vibrate or oscillate along in this direction so particle oscillates to and fro back and forth but do not move from its position they are just move along the direction of propagation where the sound moves particles are move along particles are oscillate along this direction 
so that's why sound wave is called longitudinal wave because sound waves particles are oscillate to and fro back and forth along the propagation next is transverse wave so transverse waves are those waves in which particle moves up and down or we can say that particles are moving perpendicular to the propagation of waves so light is transverse wave but it is not mechanical wave because it doesn't need a medium so particle does not oscillate in light waves so one more example to show you the transverse wave as you throw a pebble in the water you see these types of waves are coming out there so as these types of waves are coming out you can see uh, waves are coming out you can see the this type of wave is called transverse wave so here in this chapter we had studied about the uh, sound need a medium to travel and what are longitudinal and transverse wave so why sound waves are not transverse wave because its particles do not move perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave light wave is not mechanical wave because it does not need a particle or medium to travel it need a medium to travel but the particles do not oscillate about their mean position so here we had completed the longitudinal and transverse wave thank you